Hello everyone, welcome to CUET Political Science episode. In today's episode, we will discuss about India's external relation. First of all, moving on to internal context. In the aftermath of World War II, India aimed to conduct foreign relations by respecting sovereignty and maintaining peace. Many resource-poor, technologically underdeveloped nations supported the foreign policy preferences of powerful countries providing aid, leading to a global division into two blocks, one influenced by the US and its allies and the other by the Soviet Union. Now let's discuss about Nehru's foreign policy. As both Prime Minister and Foreign Minister from 1947 to 1964, he greatly influenced India's foreign policy. His key objectives were to preserve the nation's hard-earned sovereignty, protect territorial integrity and promote rapid economic development. He sought to achieve these aims through a non-alignment strategy. Notably, he was a co-founder of the Non-Aligned Movement, which advocated for independence from major power blocs. Policy of Non-Alignment India's national movement was part of the global struggle against colonialism and imperialism. The noble ideals that inspired India's fight for freedom shaped its foreign policy. However, India's independence coincided with the start of the Cold War and significant events like the establishment of the UN, the creation of nuclear weapons, the rise of communist China and global decolonization. Distance from two camps India's foreign policy aimed for a peaceful world through non-alignment. This balancing act between the superpowers was imperfect, but India managed to receive aid from both sides. Afro-Asian Unity Nehru envisioned a significant role for India in global affairs, fostering connections with newly independent Asian and African states. Under his leadership, India hosted the Asian Relations Conference in March 1947 and an international conference in 1949, supporting Indonesia's freedom struggle and opposing apartheid. The Bandung Conference in Indonesia 1955 marked the peak of India's engagement with these nations, leading to the establishment of the Non-Aligned Movement, which held its first summit in Belgrade in September 1961. Peace and Conflict with China India promptly recognized the communist government, with Nehru advocating for its emergence from Western dominance. Despite fears of future Chinese aggression voiced by Vallabhai Patel, the signing of the Punch Shield Agreement in 1954 aimed to strengthen ties. China's 1950 takeover of Tibet faced widespread opposition. Sino-Indian War of 1962 Two factors strained Sino-Indian relations, Tibet's annexation and a boundary dispute over British drawn lines. Between 1957 and 1959, China occupied Aksai Chin and constructed a strategic road. The primary dispute revolved around Ladakh and Arunachal Pradesh. China claimed Aksai Chin in Ladakh and parts of Arunachal Pradesh. In two waves of invasion, China seized territory near Arunachal Pradesh and Assam halted in Ladakh. A unilateral ceasefire ensued with Chinese troops withdrawing. Post-war, India reorganized, granting statehood to Nagaland and allowing Manipur and Tripura to elect legislative assemblies. Scarce defense resources before the invasion prompted military modernization, establishing the Department of Defense Production in 1962 and the Department of Defense Supplies in 1965. Tino-Indian relations since 1962 Normalizing relations was a protracted process with full diplomatic restoration occurring in 1976. Atal Bihari Vajpayee's 1979 visit marked a milestone, followed by Rajiv Gandhi's visit as a Prime Minister. Since then, emphasis shifted towards bolstering trade relations. Indo-Pakistan Wars of 1965 and 1971 First of all, 1965 conflict. The Indo-Pakistan conflict erupted post-independence in 1947, initially sparked by Pakistan-backed insurgents 
invading the princely state of Kashmir. In 1960, Jawaharlal Nehru and General Ayub Khan signed the Indus Water Treaty. Pakistan's armed assault on the run of Kutch and Jammu and Kashmir escalated tensions. The UN intervened, leading to the Tashkent Agreement in 1966, mediated by the Soviet Union and signed by Lal Bahadur Shastri and General Ayub Khan. Bangladesh War 1971. After Pakistan's split election results with Zulfikar Bhutto's Pakistan Peoples Party winning in West Pakistan and Sheikh Mujibur Rahman's Awami League in East Pakistan, West Pakistan's political resistance to the democratic outcome ignited conflict. Amid US and China support for Pakistan, India signed a 20-year treaty of friendship with the USSR. India's The pre-pronged attack in December 1971 led to a ceasefire and later the Shimla Agreement in 1972 signed by Indira Gandhi and Zulfikar Ali Bhutto. Kargil Confrontation In 1999, forces claiming to be Mujahideen's occupied Indian points along the LOC suspected of Pakistani army involvement. Indian reaction led to the Kargil conflict lasting May to June 1999. with India regaining control by July 26, 1999. Despite both countries possessing nuclear capabilities, the conflict remained localized. The Pakistani Prime Minister's alleged ignorance led to controversy, resulting in the Pakistan army taking control led by General Parvez Musharraf. India's nuclear policy. Initiation of the Indian nuclear program. The Indian nuclear program guided by Homi J Bhabha commenced in the 1940s. Despite pressure from the US, USSR, UK, France and China to adhere to the nuclear non-proliferation treaty of 1968, India considering it discriminatory refrained from signing. Nuclear test and policy. India conducted its first nuclear test in May 1974 focusing on peaceful atomic energy. Further tests in May 1998 showcased military nuclear capabilities opposing the selective application of international non-proliferation treaties. Despite facing criticism and sanctions, India maintained its stance advocating for credible minimum nuclear deterrence and a commitment to global nuclear disarmament. However, the subsequent nuclear test by Pakistan escalated regional tensions, underscoring the importance of nuclear stability and disarmament efforts. Shifting alliances in world politics, 1977 and beyond. Non-Congress governments rose to power from 1977 onwards, coinciding with significant shifts in global politics. The Janata Party government pledged genuine non-alignment aiming to correct a perceived pro-Soviet bias. Subsequent administrations regardless of party affiliation prioritized improving relations with China and forging closer ties with the US. Post 1990 dynamics. Criticism of pro-US foreign policies became common post 1990. With Russia's diminished global influence, India leaned towards a more pro-US stance, aligning with evolving economic interests over military considerations. Indo-Pakistani relations saw notable developments with Kashmir remaining a focal point. Despite tensions, efforts to normalize relations included promoting cultural exchanges, citizen movements and economic cooperation between the two nations. Now lastly, let's discuss about constitutional principles. Article 51 of the Indian Constitution lays down some directive principles of state policy on promotion of international peace and security. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.